Welcome back, guys. <laughs> oh, I cannot tell you how into this I am now. I've just been spending a bit of time um, adding uh, a few uh, trains and vehicles and also specifically working on this stone line here. Uh, and we're going to be doing some work on that. We're going to be doing some sky candy. We're going to be doing uh, some optimization. <laughs> There's, oh, we're going to be doing lots. Uh, down in Wellington, uh, I did replace the trucks down here. Let's go down here. I replaced the trucks with some uh, a, a nice mixture. There's a nice little mixture of trucks. Oh, there's a DHL. There's a DHL lorry. They're all running around. Oh, look, you can see. There's a whole bunch of them. And... Um, Train wise, what do I do? Train wise, oh, look at these sliding doors on these wagons, they're freaking awesome. Should we watch, should we watch the, the doors shut because <laughs> it's just so much fun? Look, there it is, unloading the stuff. And oh, look at those door animations! And they they, they, they slide along and then they slot in. Oh, that is just beautiful, isn't it? That is freaking amazing, right. Um, so, what is it? Um, oh, yeah, 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 over here on the, um, on our best performing line, the, uh, the oil line, the, the, the big crude, the big crude line, which is shipping, uh, shipping crude all the way up to here and then bringing refined oil back. And this is our, this is our best line, like, by far. Um, this thing has been, okay, uh, oh, well, I say that, the silver branch, that's our, um, uh, our logs and planks line has actually overtaken it at the moment. This thing's been doing like just stunning amounts. Um, where, uh, no, that's not what I want. I want chart. No, no, I want finances. Here we go. So this thing, what? It's it's dropped. This is this thing's been doing. No, oh, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. It's this one because we're crude and oil. This is the one that's been doing. Now which one's this? Yeah, it's, that's this one. I clicked on the wrong one. Oh yeah, I clicked on the yeah, I clicked on the crude, which is um, which is just shipping it from from here to here. And that's the um, the crude and oil. That's the right one. And look at this. It's been this has been doing like sixty, almost seventy million. It's freaking awesome. So uh, so yeah, I gave it a new new set of wagons. Some of these um, agips, some of these grey SOs. Some of these decks, KVG, never heard of those. And uh, some of these ones, these Euro tank cars. And I replaced the trains. This is the one that was using, let me show you. Um, this was the one that was using the really fast trains. Um, yeah, the 103s, the class 103s. They, they do like 124. Um, the problem is that these tank wagons are limited to like 75 so um so i replaced it with the uh 1042s like was it the 1042s or the 218s no the 218s yeah these are 218s which i can just double check yep 218s so i replaced them with the 218s uh, which do like 80 like a top of uh, 87 miles an hour and that's fine and that line is doing awesome right let's go um let's go after the stone line because i've been i've just spent like quite a while over here I put in a put in a, a little depot on this side, and um, I've just been thinning out the trucks because there were way too many trucks on the line. So I've just been thinning out the trucks. So now this thing is running at sixteen hundred. This thing is running at sixteen hundred. Uh, the trucks are awesome. Legit. In fact, let's go up this end because this ends. I, I like looking at this end. Speed you up. In fact, let's, let's let's crank you up. And the trucks just roll in. There's not too many of them. I've spaced them out. Like I've manually spaced them out. Like if, if there was a, if there was like a gap, then I've been slowing them down. So I'd like, like, like click on this and just stop it for a few seconds, just to just get the spacing. And now it just looks freaking awesome. This is constantly filling up on both sides. The trucks are running full, or pretty much full. We've got a tiny bit of spare capacity, just so that we don't like run out. Keep it maxed at 1600. Just runs like freaking clockwork. Right, pause. Sky candy time. 
Now, what I was thinking at this point was that I wanted to tie the, the truck station into the quarry, right? Because at the moment, you've got the, okay, you've got the quarry producing the stone, and then you've just got this station. And, well, how does the stone get into the trucks? So what I wanted to try and create was like a connection to kind of suggest how the, the stuff was getting into the trucks. So I had a look through the through the stuff, and I came up with the the actual quarry mods, the mods that uh, the, the actual assets that are used on the quarry. And then I thought, well, how about a couple of cranes to load them up, right? And then you know some conveyor belts to get the stuff over there and whatever. And and it just kind of went from there. And it just kind of like got got bigger and bigger. I love these little buildings. I think they fit in really nicely with the uh, with the quarry because they're kind of they're kind of cheap and temporary looking. But I I wanted to extend this. I wanted to make this look like like a, like just bigger. I I just wanted it to be bigger and more active and so rather than just being the little square of the quarry, to expand it and I, I just make it like look like a little co a little complex a little compound with you know with offices and maybe some um, some warehousing and stuff like that uh, the problem with these buildings is that you, you've got to flatten the terrain like absolutely otherwise a lot of them just don't look good they float so here's like here's a demonstration look you can see that float that building floating so you need to uh, you need to flatten off the terrain. Although it does help if you actually t <laughs> tell it to f actually flatten the roads. There we go. Got it. You got it eventually, Sky, you lunatic. Should I shout at him like you do? You haven't flattened it. You haven't, you haven't flattened the road. <laughs> now this has got um, three garages. Now I wanted to include the garages in there, so I just kind of extended the road a little bit. And then I wanted, I wanted the place to have the kind of the feeling of actually like being busy and having stuff around. So then I started to add um, add some decorations uh, and primarily using the bulk goods. In fact, in fact, I think I exclusively used um, used the stone. Yeah, I did. I, I just used the stone and then adding some containers. Now you've seen kind of the regular containers before, but what I don't think you've seen is the this new asset pack that I loaded which has um, much bigger and a much bigger selection of containers. And these, these things are freaking sweet. And there's all, I mean, there's, I don't know how many models there are, there's, there's at least 10. And you start throwing those in, and then I thought, well, you know, we wanna maybe have a truck parked around the back. Just a white van to move stuff around. And then, I want the yard where they're, where they're loading stuff up to be a bit busier. So I thought, how about put a little tipper truck in and have a, a, you know something actually loading up the tipper truck. Then uh, finish off with a bit of flooring. And then, uh, what do you think? Bit of, like a bit of fencing next? Yeah, a bit of fencing next, I think. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> bit of fencing. And the place is, place is starting to get there. But it kind of needed like, like a bit more. It wasn't quite big enough. So I thought we'd, um, we'd extend it out of this side and have a, have a bit of warehousing. But I didn't, wanna, I didn't want the road to go like all the way. I didn't want the, the road to just be a square around it because that kind of emphasizes the square. And I wanted to make it like a different shape. So I thought um, we kind of extend it partially on one side, just to uh, just uh, just to give it a kind of a different shape and a different feel. And I think when when this went in, it really did make a difference. It really did kind of extend it and added a bit of height on that side, which I think it needed. I love putting those little road connections into the garages. It's awesome. 
And then I thought, you know, this building needs kind of something, so I thought we'd just like extend it with these little white things. It's difficult to see exactly where it comes out to. But I got it, I sorted it out eventually. And then of course, once you've put that in, then you need some more decorations. I was having a ball, guys, seriously. Kid in a candy shop with this stuff. Look at these little, these little pins at the back. Love that. Just a, just a few bits and pieces around. I don't want to go crazy with it, but I just wanted kind of a few bits and pieces around, make it look a little bit interesting, make it look like it's actually occupied. And then this was, this was what made for me like the massive difference. Um, this turned out way better than I like even thought it was gonna. And I thought it, I thought it looked good. I thought it looked, you know, make it look better. But this just makes it look, well for me, I think it look, makes it look freaking awesome. Does, does take a little bit of time, this, um, this forestry mod. But man, compared to using the tree gun, oh my God, it saves freaking hours. And I love that you can just put it in. You can put in as many points as you want and you can make it exactly the shape and whatever that you want. And this, well, I think this turned out really good. You wait till you, wait till you see the trees going and the transformation from not having trees there to having trees there. I told you I, I, told you I like my trees over the edges. Look at this, boom. Now look at that. So, what do we think about that? I don't know what you think, but I think that that look, does look too bad. That looks like so much more interesting. Oh, look at the cranes going. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Freaking loving that. Just need to turn the Forester mod off because I've, I've got it on at the moment. If I click on that, it's going to something else. Um, I'm, I might spend a bit of time putting a few trees around the place at some point. Like like this, this could do with some trees down there. I, to, I, to be honest, it doesn't really need too much more. I, I, I don't know what to do kind of over here. I might just I might just leave it. I might just leave it and just have that bit open. But I, I seriously freaking love that. That is just awesome. I love the cranes. Now I was gonna do a similar thing down at this end. So for example, um, we've got this we've got this big silo up here. Um, I was I was gonna put one of these down in here, kind of behind this. Maybe some cranes on the other side or whatever. But if if I'm going to do that, that's going to be another that's going to be another day because I want to get onto other things. And those other things are really optimization, I think. Um, but we'll, well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, first of all, you know what? Let's um, let's just have a quick look at the the lines and see how we're doing. So silver branch, the biggest way, doing awesome. I need to have a look at the silver branch. Actually, that's a good point. Um, but I wanted to have a look at the airlines. How are the airlines doing? Oh my lordy! We're up to 220 passengers, 233 passengers. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's have a look at the uh, finances on this. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Because, I mean, there's still some improvement and refinement we could do, and Maggle's got to grow a bit, and we've got to put in some trans better transport and stuff like that, but that's not too bad. I'm, I'm pleased with the airlines. Um, now, if I turn on my icons, we should be seeing that Maggle's got a lot of construction materials sitting here. Uh, and it's all on Maggle fuel. Yeah, it's all on Maggle fuel. Because we're running these trains on Maggle fuel. And they've only got like seven state cars. And there's only two of them. And they're quite old. So I think we need to improve that situation. Getting the stuff shipped up to, uh, to Barking and beyond. So let's... Um, I think we want a third train on there. Yeah, I think we want a third train. So first of all, let's put a third train. So let's just let's just throw a, ha a no hab on for now. That's fine. Uh, set you online. 
Maggle fuel. Maggle fuel. There we go. So let's let you run out. Run out a bit quicker. There you go. Right, so what are we going to replace these with? Well, it's a good question, really. Um, these are 240 meter trains. Now, we're running construction materials. Uh, we're also fuel. And we've also got some food going around, apparently. How do f oh, yeah, yeah, because we've got, um, we've got some, some of these trains on here as well. Now, I mean, the thing is, with some of these new wagons, some of these new wagons would haul um, fuel and construction materials and, and goods, uh, uh, food and whatever. So I've got to say, I'm kind of tempted to kind of amalgamate these two lines. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I will have a think about that. So we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, so we had six fuel cars. Uh, I think we'll change this up slightly. So let's see. Uh, what do we want? Um, now, these things will haul uh, construction materials, food, goods. And I do like these. So I'm kind of tempted to use those. But Now, I could use the old universal state cars. Now, these double containers, these will ship construction materials. Uh, and they are really tempting. But if we're going to use those, I'll have to change the uh, the engines up. Because these are like 90... Well, they can get up to 99 nine miles an hour. I don't think they will on that stretch. But let's, j let's switch it up. Let's go... I don't know. I need some more engines. I will get some more engines. How about that? I promise. I'll get some more engines. Let's use uh, maybe 240, 246s. Out with um, let's throw on one, two, three, four, five of those. Six, six of those maybe. Six of those, and then we want now. These things are I said now they yeah they're top speed seventy five miles an hour. But we'll need the more powerful trains to pull this. I, uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, shush, shush, just going, get on with it. Oh, so what are we going to put on for tanks? Let's, you know what, let's put like a couple of the SOs. Yeah, no, make it three, three of those, three of these. Two, three. Okay, that's up to 260, which is too long. Um, let's maybe knock off. I think we're going to have to knock off uh, a couple of those if we're going to put another one of these on the other end. Um, now, I want to change the killer of these. Ah, I like that better. Yeah, go on, we'll go with that. Okay, replace now. Yes, please. Go. Ooh, look at this. You're bringing more construction materials down here. Whoa. Now, how's Maggle doing in terms of handling its goods? It's actually doing a pretty good job. Um... Again, we want to replace the vehicles. Now, as people have pointed out, though, the, the only problem is that if you put in a selection of vehicles and then you set it for replacement, like auto-replace, it's going to get rid of them eventually. That's the only problem. So, so I think I'll leave that for now. I would like different vehicles. Right, here we go. Here's one of our trains coming up here to be upgraded. Now, let's see. What's your capacity at the moment? Uh, you got not, so his capacity was 90 and 90. Okay, well, we're up a bit. You've only picked up... You've only picked up 55. Why have you only picked up 55 when there's, like, 341 waiting? Okay, that's weird. I've got some food waiting as well to be shipped. Now, you can carry food, can't you? You definitely can carry food. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it can carry food in those cars. I guess we'll see. You're bringing up more construction materials. Yeah. 
Yeah, these trains need to get a move on. This is why I, this is why I top and tailed them to get them moving a bit quicker. But it's um, some people commented about the the reduced top speed that these are only like 75 miles an hour. But it's more about the acceleration of the train that they don't spend very much time um, limited on speed, really. If you look at this, it takes a while to get up there, and that's with two engines that I've put on now. There it is, creeping up towards 75, getting up there, and by the time it gets up to 75, okay, now it's a, now it's limited. How long is it going to spend? Oh, I see, it's already slowed down. It's waiting for a free path. It's waiting to pull into the station in actual fact. Because there's a there's obviously a train already in there. Yep. So yeah, so seventy five I mean it takes that long to get up to seventy five miles an hour. So that's not really the problem. Well it's not really our problem at all. Right, how are we doing? Are we getting this down? Oh, I think we're finally getting this down a little bit. Okay, so the third train has made the difference by the look of it. We've got another one coming in now. There we go. That's what we want to see. Sweet. Alrighty. So now that's uh, now we've got we've sorted that out. Let's check the airlines again. How the, how are the airlines doing? Yeah, still around that kind of 200 mark. Right. Let's go over here to um, to Tavistock now. Currently, we've got um, we've got these things which are. <laughs> which are basically falling apart now they're so old how old are you 78 years old but that's okay um what i want to do is extend this line into um where is this that's a good point into tavistock that's um, that's the idea so this will provide an extra route because we've got the trams going out there at the moment um, I'm thinking of ch I'm thinking of changing the trams. Maybe the, maybe the trams kind of go around the city or something, and then we'll have a direct route by rail in here. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, how the hell would we do this? So, uh, having done that, we need to change the line. So let's grab the old line, the red arrow. This is not going to be red arrows anymore. So this is going to be, I don't know, this is going to be Tavistock, Peacehaven. Yeah, the, the line will still be referred to as the red arrow, even though it doesn't run red arrows. So this is going to be train, passenger, um, Peace, Tav. Right, let's throw in some trains. I've got a depot uh, in over here that we'll use. I could do with these. See, that's smooth in there. A bit messy. There we go. That's better. Right, let's uh, buy trains. We're going to use the, um, the 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 flirt threes, NS threes. So one, two, three. I'm thinking four. Four? We'll put four on and we'll see how it works. So set you online, tab the red arrow. Now, the thing is, if they're going on, you know, if they're going on the red arrow line, which obviously they are, uh, is there any way we could color them red nicely? So like, uh, well, I, want, I want the that. Let's see. Let's get on board with you. Can have a... Have a little bit of a ride while we're, while we're doing this. Let's slow you down to a more reasonable speed. There we go. So let's see. Um, so vehicles, color. Like if we said bright red. Oh, these aren't recolorable. I forgot these aren't recolorable. So, so that is what that is. I need to do a bit of work on this. I'm not. 
This this valley is not as nice as it should be. I don't like this at all. And we need I don't know. We need sexier bridges and stuff. This is the problem. When you start decorating areas and you make it look good, then <laughs> like when you go to sort of another area of the map, you're like, yeah, this doesn't look as good. So let's speed let's speed things up because I want to see how this line does. I can't imagine it's going to do like fabulously well, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how many people it picks up in Tavistock. I can't imagine it's going to be like thousands of people. Oh, seven already. Okay, mate, well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe it will do better. How are we doing in uh, Peacehaven? All right, let's, uh, now, this needs to be worked on a little bit. I think we need to do something about the, the, the transport in Peacehaven because we've got the, we've got the station over here. Um, I've just put in the, um, the extra, the extra um, connection. Um, but we've got the passenger station over here and then like the town is all over here. And okay, the, the buses do go through here, but it's um, it's not it's not an easy place to get around. And we need to do something about that. So I think I think we need to do some kind of radical stuff here. Um, so I'm thinking that we need maybe to do something with the these tracks. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And you're going to get a narration on this time lapse as well. Two narrated long time lapses in one video. My God, I'm spoiling you guys. I really am. Now, the um, the issue here is the issue that I always have with kind of r railway stations that are in the centre of a town. It's like, how do you get across them? Do you go over them? Do you go under them? Like, and it's always a nightmare. I mean, it is like unequivocally it's always a nightmare so I thought with this one we we try and um, bury the track a little bit which um, which sounded like a really great idea but like as per usual the bridges <laughs> oh man oh I struggled with the bridges in this so much um, I mean <laughs> I don't know why the game needs like so much freaking space to make a bridge, but I mean, look. And as this video goes on, you'll see that like more and more and more and more of the town gets knocked down with me trying to get these freaking things to work. And this, I played around with this because if you look at the the right hand edge. It's just creating this really janky little slope, which is not nice, where the where the the bridge meets the the junction on the other side. Um, but like 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 with that one, I was like, you know what, screw it, that'll do. I've I've had enough messing around with that one. This one, okay, this one was like blood, sweat, and tears go, going into it. You, well, you'll see. But it's like. Trying to get a bridge that actually looked nice. So, so freaking hard. And I, I still haven't kind of come up with like a way to do it. I mean, I know that, like, so I say here I'm playing with the terrain, like trying to take the terrain down. And after I mess around with it a little bit, you'll see that I do actually get it to make the bridge. The problem then is trying to get the bridge to look right. Right, so to have pillars on either side at an equal distance, and it's so damn hard. Look, you see, the the, the, the pillars are, are there, but they're not at an equal distance. They're which, and I want them at an equal distance. <laughs> this is see, this is where the the OCD, this is where the the perfectionist me like comes in, and I will mess. Around. I am quite persistent when I get in this mood. And I was getting closer. But, man, just trying to get that last little bit so that it actually looked good. No, I wasn't happy. I wasn't satisfied. No, gotta do it again. Oh, man. 
that didn't work at all. Took it up too high. That's kind of lopsided. But that one, for some reason, when I took the road from, from the opposite side, suddenly it worked. And that doesn't look bad. But I want, the thing is, I wanted the, the track to be down in a, in a trench. I wanted embankments on either side. So, um, but I wanted the terrain kind of lower as it went under the bridge. So then I started playing around with these roads to try and create the, um, the kind of level of terrain that I wanted. So you'll see me put in a, an extra couple of roads in a minute to, to raise the terrain on either side. Here we go. So this is just to bring up that kind of embankment so that when the train goes through, you get that feeling of being kind of down below the level of the buildings. At least that's the plan. And I have to say, I, it did. It was a, it was quite a lot of work to do this, but I think it was worth it in the end. I mean, all I've really done there is put in two bridges, and that's taken quite a while. But yeah, it was worth it. And you can see they're still getting like buildings getting knocked down every so often. It just goes on and on. I extended the um, the station to have the second connection. Uh, just so that it'll, it'll distribute to that side of the tracks uh, without me having to put in like another um, another truck route. And then I, I want the buildings to, to be kind of like right up against the tracks on that side. So I thought if I put a road in there, then, uh, then that'll kind of encourage some buildings along that one side. Be interesting to see how, like, once it grows up, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Now, the trams. I wanted to have, I, again, I wanted to do something different. So with this one, I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, um, like, two ring routes. I'm going to have an inner one, which is the one I'm putting in now, and then I'm going to have an outer one, and I'm going to have trams going round the round the two loops. But man, trying to upgrade the roads. So many of the roads wouldn't upgrade and I had to just take them out or, or go a different route to, to avoid, look at that one and, and I was really trying hard to not knock down all the buildings the problem is that when you take a section out like that and then you upgrade it you get a bulge on that one section and actually that slows down vehicles. When they go from a, a wide section to a narrow section, um, or, a, or a narrow section to a wide section, they slow down, which is a real pain. But there was no kind of no way around it really without knocking the entire street down and relaying it. But I think that this, um, this traffic system should work pretty nicely once it's done. It's got very, very good coverage. And then I decided that I wanted the trams to, to I wanted, um, in the center, I wanted a route that was, was both ways. So then I needed to put in a tram station. And I kind of forgot just how freaking big these tram stations are. They need so much room. So yeah, more of the town got knocked down, <laughs> you know, as you do. And then it was just a case of banging the lines in. And now you'll see like quite clearly, like how the lines work. So that first line goes round and then it goes back again. Okay, well that is starting to look a hell of a lot better. Right, let's, should we get some trams on here? Let's get some trams on here. We need a depot. Let's get a depot put in. Where am I gonna put the depot? I have no freaking idea. Where on earth can I put the depot? I don't know, somewhere, somewhere over here maybe. Uh, how about how about just slightly on there? Yeah, let's pop, let's pop you in there. That'll do. Right, uh, we want we're gonna want to yeah, we want a fair few trams on here. I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. How about six trams in the centre? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Put an extra one, seven. 
That's going to go on life four. Then we want like, um, thinking either four or five on the outside. Uh, let's put, f I think four. One, two, three, four goes on line five. And one, two, three, four goes on line six. Alrighty. Man, put <laughs> how painful was putting this bridge in. Really, just figuring all this out. And I still hate this bridge. I absolutely hate this bridge. The, what I needed to do um, was like elevate this this point here, bring these roads up to it. But I was trying not to do like a ton of changes and it just turned into a freaking nightmare, like always. Right, and there go all of our trams. We'll see how this works. So we've got um, we've got a central route, which is going round here, and then and then back again. So it goes clockwise and anti-clockwise, and then we've got a clockwise route around there and an anti-clockwise route around the outside, and that should provide, I would have thought, pretty good connectivity. People can switch like between these two it stops pretty easily like if they want to get from here into the center or something um, yeah I, I would have thought that would be pretty good we're starting to see some passengers around the place we've got passengers pretty much every stop which is sweet now the question is are we getting more passengers here that would be kind of interesting to see let's, let's go let's go over here let's see as the trams come along Oh, I think, I think we might just be seeing a few more passengers. Now we have got the buses coming through here as well, which is potentially slowing things down. I am thinking that like, I may end up putting in here like a proper tram stop. Like one of these things. Uh, where are we? Uh, one of, you've seen it lots of times before. Um, where's the, where's the, oh, here, yeah, here we go, one of these, one of these things. I mean, I mean, I could, I could, I could put it in there. I could put it in there. Do you think I should? Should I put it in there? I, I've got to say, I'm really tempted now and get rid of, get rid of that and that. Okay, I tell you what, let's try it, let's try it. What the hell, go on. Um, so, we want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of this road. Construction not possible, why? Like, seriously, why, ca like, why can't I delete that freaking road? Okay, um, like... <laughs> Man, like, why can't I delete that road? What the hell is wrong with you? Um, I don't know. So like, so if I like chop it off, like, can I get rid? Of it? So I still can't get rid of that. It'll be linked to something. It's probably that, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's see if we can squeeze this stop in with that there. Can I? Oh, uh, maybe. Just, just about. Uh, so we want this to be electric. What's the... I've still never figured out what's the difference between these two. Yeah. Oh, the high floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High floor and low floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So, yeah, that Let's just angle this slightly. Yeah, it's a tiny bit better. Right, so let's pop you in there. So let's pick that up. We can get rid of this stop, I think. I don't think we need this stop over here, having put that one in. So let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Cool. Station 1 and Station 2 are not connected. School Lane and Albert Road. Well, School Lane. Um... Okay, what the hell? <laughs> um, well, this should, this should be stop one, shouldn't it? Let's get, let's get out of there. Um, School Lane and Albert Road are not connected. Why? 
They look, they look pretty connected to me. Station 8 and 9 are not connected, which is Green Lane and Albert Road. Uh, which... Green Lane? Where the hell's Green Lane? Green Lane and Albert Road. Oh, what? Because, well, because I've, because I've got rid of it. That's why. Um, that needs to go. So, that needs to go. Albert Road needs to go. And Albert Road needs to go twice on here. Albert Road, Albert Road. There we go. Right, all fixed. All fixed. Are you running now? Are you going to run a bit more smoothly? I would have freaking thought so. Now, let's see. Terminals. So, we want these lines, these bus lines, uh, let's see, these are, these are fine using these centre lines. Well, do I, do I get the other trams using the outside ones? Or do we, do we just use these inside? I, don't, I, I want the trams using the centre ones, I want the buses using the outside ones. They're both using that side, which I'm kind of surprised about. To get, to get rid of these, uh, and bring up these. Oh, let's try that again. Bring up these. So, how the hell are these working? Okay, so they're going... Oh, good lord. <laughs> now, they should be going into there and going round there, and this one isn't. Which is... Uh, if I swap the, st the terminals, if I take... Uh, you and put you on terminal one. There we go. Let's lock those in place. So yes, yeah, so I now they're they're fixed. So they go in here, into the station, down here. That's that's pretty perfect. All right. What well, we do seem to be seeing a few passengers around the place. Now let's let's see. How many passengers are you picking up? You're picking up eleven passengers. Uh, let's see. Let's see if your passengers are going up. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to look at the graphs. So this is where I made the change. So we've actually, like, passengers are, have actually reduced. Now, I wonder if that's because of the frequency. What's, uh, what kind of frequency are we running? Where are we? The, um, we want TP. Here we go. The frequency, 109 seconds, which is not horrendous by any standards. Well, we're running at 81 of 204. It's about 50% capacity. Now, we'll watch. We'll, we'll, we'll watch and see how that develops. I would imagine now that we've got the trams in, it would um, it would get better. You'd kind of hope, wouldn't you? Are you seeing more traffic? Yeah, I think we're starting to see, like, maybe a lot more traffic. Oh, look at this! How many people we got? Oh, we got 30 people waiting for the train. Oh, we might need to put another train on here. Yeah, it's getting nice and busy now. Sweet. How many people? 42? Well, 50 is a full train. Where's the next train? Where's the next train? Here's the next train. I think we, I, well, I think we definitely need one more train. Because they're not frequent enough. And we've got more than 50 passengers waiting. Here it comes. It can carry 51 passengers. So how many people were left waiting? 12 people left waiting. Go on, we'll stick another train on. Oh, now this is the hexagon. Oh, I can't wait to, pl to play around with that. That's a future train. We'll, uh, we'll play around with that in the next episode, maybe, or something. Right, let's get, uh, let's get another... Where are we? Another NS3. I really need to start using these more. Uh, let's get another NS3 by and put you onto the Red Arrow line. Well, there we go. Just increase the frequency a little bit. How are you doing? You are 39, almost full. Oh, yes. Loving this. 
these people are waiting for these buses which are coming through just like chock full so, let's have a look at this this uh now I've put a load more vehicles on and they're still chock-a-block. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe once they've had a bit, a bit more time to run around, that'll even out, we'll kind of see, but I might need to just put more buses on there. You got any, oh, you actually had some room. Good Lord. So we have actually cleared those passengers out. That's good. How are you? Only seven passengers, oh man. But there's loads coming in here. Well, I say loads. 16, 17, 18. That's getting there. Let's do let's have another look at the um let's have another look at the line. How are we doing? Okay, financially it's not working out yet, but Okay, we yeah, we're getting back up to some reasonable levels. And I would imagine that will just get busier and busier with a bit of luck. Alrighty. How's the how's the town doing like as a whole? Peace Haven. Let's see. So we're we're starting to get decent levels of people using public transports. That's good because that was that would have been virtually zero before we did these trams because there was there was only the buses. That was it. Um, we've got food. We've got goods. We've got fuel. So it's the tools, machines, and construction materials. We um, we are starting to get there. We really are. So we've got that. We've got peace havens transport sorted out. We've got the Red Arrow line. Um, are we do like? I wonder if that has improved our planes at all. I'm kind of hoping that it has, but... Um, <laughs> no, it's made them worse, apparently. Now we're still... Well, we were over 200 on both at one time. And now they've kind of drifted down a little bit. Now, actually, I do wonder... Let's see, because we're flying to Sedberg, aren't we? The problem now is with this line, people can actually take the train and then catch the bus to Sedberg. Ah! So actually putting that line in, yeah, would make it worse at the airlines. Okay, well, I think we, I think this airline, this air, airline, I think this airport is going to have to get moved. I think it's going to have to get moved out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Cheshire. Maybe put an airport here. See if I could squeeze an airport in there. I think that's a good idea. If you've got an opinion on that, guess what you're going to do? You're going to leave me a comment. And I will catch you for the next episode. But not before we quickly go over here to... Uh, up to here. And look at this again. Because this is freaking awesome. I love this. Let's turn that off. I know it's not much, but... Oh, come on. It's cute, isn't it? Just love it. Just love it. Catch you for the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.